All right, welcome back to our studio kitchen here with Monique Richard, registered dietitian nutritionist, and I have been getting all kinds of great information. I am taking notes. I can't wait to do some roasting of my beans yes. over there. All these different uh, functions that these beans can do. Yes, absolutely. And they're filling and they've got fiber and protein. They're going to be good for the planet and the earth and we've got so many ways to use them. All right, and now we're moving on to black beans, which are some of yes. my favorites. Awesome. I have, these are one thing you can count on in my pantry. Awesome. I always have cans of these. I love to hear it. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, so I use black beans for the substitute of flour in these ooey gooey delicious brownies. My husband's, I said, do you like them? He said, could I have another? So I guess that's, that is they're a yes. Um, and look at the color and how yeah. moist they look. Exactly. They're very tasty. They're gluten-free. Um, there's all kinds of options that you can do, but one can of black beans, puree that in a paste, follow the directions, super easy. And you just got rid of the flour, yep. rid of the black beans. Yep. And as Scott Edelman was leaving, he took a big old bite said it was delicious, yeah. couldn't tell, couldn't taste exactly. the beans. They just kind of exactly. add the texture. They add the texture and because of their properties of the fibrous, they're going to take over what the flour do with the carbohydrate. I love so. it. Add a little powdered sugar on the yep. top, good stuff, and yep. then using them as well in our salads, yes. in our quesadillas, right. always slipping them in. Yes, you can use them anywhere that you use your any other protein. So whether it be tacos, burritos, salads, um, casseroles, soups, put some beans in there and they're a great addition. Mm, I love yeah. it, I'm a big fan. And then you were telling Chris and I about <clears throat> this last little thing here. Yes. Absolutely shocked us. Yes, so we have aqua faba. So aqua faba is water, faba is bean in Latin, so uh -huh. bean water, okay? So you save the, um, most likely the chickpeas, the garbanzo beans that are more neutral than the black bean okay. water, but set aside this liquid and then you blend the liquid with some powdered sugar, some vanilla, and some cream of tartar or lemon juice. That's going to be your acid. Mm -hmm. And then look at these peaks. You get whipped cream. Who figured this out? I mean, that's um, brilliant. Yeah, it's food science, baby. <laughs> I mean, it's like, what are you doing? I'm saving the bean water yes. and you'll see why. Yes. So what about the taste? Does it? It. I mean, it tastes delicious. Take a, take a okay. stab at I, it. I, I mean, you can to. give us an honest opinion. It's not oh going to be goodness. like a commercially processed whipped cream. It's more like but a it's, foam. Yes. It would but be it is a whipped cream. Yeah, absolutely. You can use this in tarts, in anything, um, parfaits anything and of course you can tweak the recipe making you know different sugar different vanilla combinations absolutely and it's almost like a meringue yes exactly exactly oh it's, it's delicious there you go so the starch and the protein in the water is what helps create the peaks and the valleys um, and we're just putting air in it so Another way to preserve and reuse and, um, you know, and that, get the nutrition out of what we have to have. That is the coolest thing, yeah. Monique. <laughs> like, that is just, wow. And so you've got the recipe. We're going to share the recipe yes, on our recipes. website. Yep. And you just blend it up. Yeah, it takes a long time to blend, so you might want to do a stand mixer or, um, you know, stand there for a while, like 10, 10 okay. minutes, just because it ha needs so much air in there. But And it lasts, it made a bowl probably, gosh, it was a really, really big bowl, and it lasts about four days. So, depending Aquafaba. on... Aquafaba. Aquafaba. You heard it here yes. first. <laughs> Aquafaba. That is just very cool. Yes. Monique, great to have you on the show. Thank great you so much. You. Wonderful ideas. We're talking healthy foods yes. for National Nutrition Month. For more information, you can also check out this website, eatright.org. Lots of great recipes, and we'll share these a little later yes. on the show. Yes. And too. remember, your apron is your superhero <laughs> cape. Worn backwards, cooking is your superpower. Love it. I love it. All right. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>